Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you! <laughs> yes, yeah, so everyone's out and about with their bikes and their motorbikes and and, and shorts because and it's it's hot outside. And when I say hot, I mean like 78 degrees. And uh, yeah, so hello friends, how are you doing? So we took a little tour on Dantooine last night. I know I didn't hit every single spot on it, uh, but uh, I did not want the video to keep going on and on and on. So, but yeah, I want to leave some things to mystery so you guys can get on to PTS or wait till she comes on live uh, when more of the story aspects and assets kick on to it. And I'm looking forward to that. We don't have an official launch date yet for 5103. Uh, but, um, you know, 5102 is already out and about. It came out last, no, two weeks ago. No, a week ago. Uh, Thursday, a week ago last Thursday. Uh, so soon, two weeks. Holy crap. And, uh, can you believe, like, Star Wars Celebration, or the Cantina itself, is, like, just about a week ago? Oh, man. Time flies, doesn't it? Holy crap. Uh, but let's see what's going on. We have a big car, uh, CEM cartel market sale coming up for Star Wars Day. And then, uh, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, coming down. I've, dude, I've been listening to, uh, Revan, the book, Revan. And, I uh, really want to get more into, uh, that part of the SOTOR lore. No, I already know a lot about it, but I haven't really, um, read or listened to two books. I don't really have much time to read, and I, like, I'm one of those people, like, I love the multitask, so I, I, Typically, we'll have, like, either the radio on, which is usually, like, AM talk radio, because I'm a talk radio junkie, and, uh, or I will have a book on tape, eh, date myself on that one, going on, so right now I've got Revan going on in part two, I'm uh, really enjoying it, loved connecting a lot of the dots, and so talking about this shit, Nathema, and, uh, just all that stuff going on where, you know, plays like, hey, man, I've been to Nathema, yeah, that place was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I already know the backstory of this shit. What a douchebag. Uh, but yeah, so, been really enjoying that. Uh, I've already listened to, like, the Darth Bane, uh, stuff. And, yeah, he, he was, he was special, wasn't he? Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't already, uh, just look it up. Uh, they are great books to listen to, and I'm pretty sure to read on that one. So, uh, yeah, the words of wisdom, uh, by me. And, uh, so what else is going on? So Anthem major updates coming up, uh, tomorrow with Anthem. Was it 1.1.4? Uh, yeah, we're getting a new sunken temple coming in, to, uh, the new stronghold coming in, and, uh, some pot fixes and, or uh, some fixes and butt fixes and I think some other stuff. And then I'm pretty sure come the 30th, we're going to get another giant patch because it kind of seems like they have to. And yeah, I guess um, there's been some reports that, oh no, that's gonna, they're going to be under legal trouble. Which, you know, the whole thing is based off, you know, like, I want my I want a refund and, and stuff because this game sucks. And yeah, you guys haven't really given out anything, so, you know, yeah, you guys suck. Well, as my friend William from Your Anthem pointed out... That because there's this giant thing on top of their, you know, on the EA site or the roadmap or whatnot, a giant disclaimer. And this disclaimer pretty much destroys their entire argument about how they can get a refund or sue Anthem because of this, that, or the other thing. Uh, because, yeah, hey, whatever. But I call it a bunch of crybabies doing their crybaby thing and whatnot. And, you know, I think uh, William really came up with a great, uh, response and I this is something I've been thinking of too that you know we haven't really heard much and I, everyone here has you know heard me praise Bioware for how transparent and how communicative they have been and lately they've been quite quiet about things and I think Anthem's in that state of damned if you do damned if you don't uh situation and uh so some of it their fault and a lot of it on the you know YouTube hate hate clickers the hate baiters out there who will jump on any single thing and blow something completely out of proportion like silence. And this is where I agree with William in this fact of, yeah, they're probably quiet because they're working their butts off to get as much out to us as possible to keep with what the roadmap says. And I think that's what's going on. 
And we've had that with SOTOR before as well, where people have been really silent, and then you get a giant update um, quickly after they've been quiet, and they've been, then they become not quiet again. So that, that happens. And I, you know, I still have faith in the game. I still think it has a great potential. It can do some amazing stuff. Uh, but we will have to wait and see. Beard and finger crossed. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What do you guys do for Easter? What? Play any games? Get any games for Easter near Easter? Was the Easter Bunny nice to you and give you video games? I remember when I was a kid, I would look in my bag. I don't do that now, but I would look in the basket. It would be like a video game for like Nintendo or something. And uh, I'd be like, yeah, sweet new Mario Brothers game. Freaking A, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would get in my uh, Easter basket, plus with candy. And then we got down to gift cards, and then it got down to jack crap. <sighs> Stupid bunny. Don't you know I want stuff too? Not candy. At this point in my life, I just want bacon, uh, coffee, uh, probably video game stuff, uh, computer stuff. Um, yeah, ooh, ooh. Ah, the Easter bunny pays my bills. There you go. Uh, hashtag adult life fun times, eh? Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm working on some new lore stuff for SOTOR. Or uh, portfolio, portfolios, portrait, not portrait, character profiles. There you go. Uh, and the characters don't necessarily have to actually be a character. A character can easily be a planet. Could be uh, pretty much anything that might loosely fit within the definition of a character. So I am working on some stuff. I have uh, one getting ready to come out of self to shoot some more footage for it. Uh, before I release it the doom and we're going to take a look at some more SOTOR news and just some other cool fun stuff that might be coming down the road so my friends have a good one let me know your thoughts on all the things as well and suggestions too I'm always open my ears are always open to that kind of stuff and uh, yeah remember to hit that like button do what you gotta do there make sure you hit that share button let more people come in we're on that road to 1200 on the longer road to 2000 Woo, baby. Anyways, guys, we'll see you later. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is your first time here. And if it is, I apologize because of reasons. Guys, we'll see you later. Love you. Remember to be kind. It's about community. Good day. Huh?